The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of BoatTest.com and its test captain. Doral's been building boats for over 30 years. The Prestanze I'm on today is a good example of how they're bringing high level amenities into all of their line. Now at 32 feet and a little bit over 10 feet of beam, this has got a lot of things that you wouldn't expect. For example, they bring in their classic pull out seat that expands the cockpit. So if you'll join me, we'll take a look at the other features on board. Doral uses sandwich construction techniques when building the hulls for these cruisers, enhancing the rigidity of the hull. It not only insulates for sound and temperature, it also helps maintain light weights. Starting with the stern, the Prestanzia has a semi-built-in swim platform and a fiberglass extended swim platform with standard swim shower. Doral offers teak or new teak PVC inserts for both the swim platform and the cockpit. The Prestanzia has a standard transom entry to the single level cockpit. A center locker stretches across the rest of the aft end where the dockside connections are run. Access to the battery switches is truly simple as they are also in the locker rather than onboard and out of reach from the docks. As you enter the single level cockpit with full liner, there's a standard wet bar to starboard where you can keep cool beverages ready. An optional refrigerator ice maker can make that even better. This refreshment center has an anthracite countertop and bottle and glass holders for your convenience. The custom in-house designed and built seating wraps around the stern and up the port side continue with the port side lounger in the forward cockpit. A standard fiberglass cockpit table with filler cushion sets up easily or you can opt for the solid wood highly polished table. There are two hatches that open up for good access to the engines below. A larger motorized hatch reveals the power plant and when needed a secondary starboard hatch opens the engine compartment even more. It has a handy strap to make sure it doesn't fall back down. With both hatches up, you have pretty good access to both engines. Batteries are to port in front of the engine for better serviceability. As you can see with these twin Volvo Penta 5.0 GXIs, you can work on them, but the outboard sides are a bit tight to get to. The dash design looks like it's sports car inspired. Faria gauges and digital depth sounder as well as an electric trim tabs are starboard. The steering is high precision with tilt wheel. Controls have Teleflex Extreme Control Cables for very smooth action. Trim tab indicators, Volvo Penta remote control and deluxe steering wheel are options at the helm. Electronics like the Raymarine A60 are also options you can add. The double wide helm seat has a bolster for added visibility. At six feet tall standing at the helm, I am looking through the frame of the windshield, not above it. If you regularly go into areas with low bridges, you'll appreciate the fiberglass retractable arch, especially if you opt for the electric motorized one. The side decks are a bit shallow for my size 13D shoes, so I would prefer to go up the molded in steps in the dash and through the windshield walkthrough when accessing the bow. The windshield frame is polished stainless steel and aluminum. The bow rail is heavy duty 316 grade stainless steel and this one has the optional bow rail lifeline often required outside the US. This boat also has the optional anchor package with custom forged Doral anchor. Another nice option to have is the bow sun pad with integrated pillows. The companionway entrance has two sliding doors, both a green acrylic and a separate screen door for those perfect evenings aboard. The interior has a gloss gel coating with vinyl headliner that's easy to maintain. The galley is to starboard with an L-shaped dinette and laminated table where you can upgrade to solid wood steps and a solid wood table as you see here. We have just under 74 inches sold a cabin top in the center of the salon. That's very nice. For the flat screen TV, it's set up to look into the salon, but you can also pull a pen and swing it around for your own entertainment at night. The galley has the basics for meals underway and at anchor. Standard is a refrigerator, stainless steel sink, and single burner cooktop. The counters are anthracite granite finish with matching Corian covers for the sink and cooktop. Optional air conditioning is either a 10,000 BTU system or 12,000 BTU tropical system. We have a fiberglass enclosed wet head. I have about 72 inches from the sole to the ceiling in here. You can sit and shower and then get out for the day. The fiberglass line compartment has an anthracite finish vanity that matches the galley, shower curtain, and vacuum flush toilet. On board the Prestantia, this is a fixed view berth. We have about 32 inches from the top of the mattress to the ceiling, and then we have about 64 inches in length on the mattress. Doral makes just about everything, including the mattress, bedspread, and curtains on their cruisers. Fine materials are imported from around the globe. Prestanzia for 2009 measures 32 feet 2 inches length overall with a beam of 10 feet 1 inch. She weighs about 10,000 pounds with engines and has a fuel capacity of 110 gallons. I tested the Prestanzia on a freshwater river near the plant in Canada. 
conditions were calm and the handling was great both around the docks and underway. She's nimble, capable of tight turns under control, and jumps wakes almost as easily as a PwC. With twin Volvo Penta 5.7 GXI gas stern drives, top speed measures 47.7 miles per hour, burning 43.7 gallons per hour, or 1.09 miles per gallon at 5100 RPM. Her most economical speed was at 3500 RPM and 31.1 miles per hour, burning 17.8 gallons per hour, or 1.75 miles per gallon. At this speed, she can deliver about 173 miles on a full tank of fuel. The Prestancia is a step up from a pocket cruising lifestyle. If you want to have a bit more room than a pocket cruiser with more power to pull, Prestancia from Doral has the room, the amenities, and the engine options that can satisfy most of your desires for a cruiser large enough to overnight on.